it's Tony here from Caveman Props. Well, I've got a, another tutorial for you today, um, a nice and easy one. I'm going to be building a Captain America helmet, um, obviously in EVA foam again. Um, if you're a regular subscriber to the channel, you may have realised a little while ago I did the shield in um, EVA foam as well. Um, so now we're going to do the, the helmets. This is going to be quite um, a good to watch those two videos if you're planning on putting on a Captain America cosplay. Because these are two main items which are quite hard to get hold of and quite expensive to buy. And I'm going to show you how you can um, make your own. So we're going to be doing the helmet today. Um, I'm going to do a slight change. I'm not going to be making my own template for this. I'm going to be using somebody else's which I've uh, got off the internet. Um, if you're going to be following this as well, go to my Facebook page. Because I will um, post that in the um, somewhere on the de I have a description for this video when I share it or the previous post because I normally post pictures first and the video comes later. Um, so check that out, uh, the, you should be able to find the template on there if you can't just message me and I'll, I'll sort out the template for you. Um, so we're going to head off into the workshop and we're going to be working on that. Okay now I'll cut out my template, uh, this is really simple, so you've got one bit um, that's for like the crown crest of the helmet. Um, one bit that's the side, and then this other bit which will be under the eyes and the nose section. Um, the reason you only have one of each of these is that it's exactly the same, so we just turn it over and do a reverse of it, which makes life very simple. So it's a very easy template. So I'm going to move these on to some 5mm um, foam that I have. I think I found a scrap piece that's actually large enough to probably do the entire helmet. Um, because I used the end of it for something else, so I've got a few bits and pieces. It's not quite big enough, I've got some other bits and pieces. So, so we need to do two of these, uh, both sides, two of these, but only one of these. So we get this onto the foam and we'll start cutting it out. Okay, I'm going to show where you can see this under here, but I've taken my piece of foam and drawn the pieces out. Um, sometimes you have to lay them down and see what works best because you want to try and get them on um, using up as little space as possible. I could have used all of this but then you know this little piece might come in handy for something else that I have to build later. Um, and obviously we've got some more detail and actually go onto this helmet so this piece is going to be perfect for that. Um, so we're going to cut this out, get the scalpel now, I'm going to cut these pieces out and then we can start putting together. Okay, right, I'm cutting these pieces out. Um, I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with this section. So this is the side bit. Um, so I've cut the bottom bit out um, with my scalpel, um, obviously 90 degrees to it to create some nice straight edges. We come to do this bit. This bit is going to join to the the top section of the helmet, and obviously we can we're going to heat the foam and create a bit of a curve to it. Um, but just to help that along and make it a little bit easier. Um, as I cut through this, rather than holding the scalpel straight, I'm going to hold the scalpel at a slight angle. Just give a slight little bevel to that as I go around the edge. Um, and basically that, that's going to do, that's going to help us as we glue it together. And then we will heat it up. It's going to be absolutely, have that little bit of a curvature to it. Um, for creating a curve around the helmet. It's just going to help us along a little bit. And you'll need to change your scalpel blades regularly because EVA foam will dull your blades. This one's just starting to go because it's not quite getting all the way through. There we go. So it's a slight little bevel on the edge there. Um, so as we glue it, it's not going to glue like that. It's going to glue like that. And then we can heat and create the curves. So I'm going to put a new scalpel blade in, cut the last two pieces out, and then we'll be ready for putting together. So we're going to start with the crown pieces. What I've done is I've heated these up under the heat gun and um, put a bit of a curve in it already, that's going to help us along. Um, obviously we need to glue these bits and obviously you can see that that curves quite dramatically. So as we bring that together, that's all, once that bit's pinned in, we start pinning that in, it's all going to start creating a nice curve um, for the top of the helmet. And we'll see that as we go along. So, um, just baiting whether to use contact cement on this or using my Super glue, so I think I'm going to have a go with the super glue. Um, 
just for, for ease at the moment and we're going to see how we get on with that. Okay, so I've uh, abandoned the super glue and what I've done is I've applied contact cement down the side, eat both sides, you apply it on both sides, let it dry and then when you push it together it should seal nicely once it's got it dried. I've also just gone over it with the um, heat gun just to make sure that dries and then you should be ready to go. So we push it together nice and slowly, make sure that each bit sets as we go. You can't brush this. See it's pulling itself apart now. So if we push it together from the inside, that should hopefully seal itself because we're going to lay it flat, push the two bits together. It should seal quite nicely. Gone a little bit over on the bottom bit there. That's why, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much there. We just need to bend this down, push some of this together. It's a little bit rough, but that's fine. We're going to sort that out and we'll do the finishing details. So, by pushing it back down together, that we can push the seals in. Once it pops back up, yeah, it's basically like building this backwards almost, letting the glue set and then folding it back. So, maybe that's the way to go. Kind of soldiered on and I've done the same, I've stuck the sides on it. Um, Bevel in this corner has really helped get that one on and make the shape a bit better, as you can see. The reason we didn't bevel this bit to do the same is that you it would make that into more of a point as it comes together and you kind of want it to be slightly more curved if you could build this in one bit it would be a lot better but for ease we kind of cut it and glue it it comes a lot better um so there we go that's that bit all that's left now is for the eye guard and um, we're going to do that's going to stick on to the side bits here and we'll stick the middle bits and for that i am going to be using the uh the glue because it's just going to be easier at this point. We don't need it to stretch quite so far. After a nice, quick and easy sealing. So that's the that guard bit glued on, and as you can see, it's starting to look more like the helmet. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of already been heat treated, um, no, actually. So we're going to do the, the detailing of the A and the the wings on this, and then it's going to start getting sealed up, ready for painting. Now working on a little scrap piece. I've done the template bits for the A and the wings. Um, doesn't really make sense at the moment because obviously I've squashed it into here. It gives me some space here if I want to do some extra bits. Um, so we're going to cut these out. Then these will be laid onto the helmet. We cut those details out, and we're now going to put them onto our helmet. Um, what I've done is I've just gone over the seam bits here um, with the rotary tool and the sander on a slow speed. Um, just to kind of smooth these edges over so it's not quite so rough because um, that'll look much better once we get it all um, done up and painted. So we're going to stick these on. Obviously A goes on the front and then I'm going to make a decision. I think I'm going to put the wings on the side rather than trying to do them around here. I'm going to put them on here. So get the A on and stick the wings on the side.
Got a little bit of trouble getting the A on um, because the simple thing was that what I'd forgotten was this has already been heat treated so the pores are closed up so the glue didn't take to it so well so I had to spray the helmet with some reactor spray and then glue the A onto it but obviously because there was already a bit of glue on here I tried it the first time kind of made a little bit of markings around there um, so, but we've got the A on, A's there, and now we're going to do the, the, the wings on the side. Um, obviously I know now that the, I need to spray the, the helmet with the reactor spray first before I put the wings on. So get those details on, both sides, and then it should be ready for coating and painting. We've got the A on, and we've got the wings on the sides, that's our detailing there. Um, I might add some bits of I've my thumb running around the edges here um, just to kind of add a little bit of detail um, and then this whole helmet is going to be um, coated with PVA and then get ready for priming and painting blue so let's crack on with that and while that's drying we're going to be working on the ears and the um, chin section Okay, right, while the helmet is getting coated ready for painting, we're going to move on to the ear sections. Um, so I've already cut these out on the foam, I'm not going to show you laying it down on the foam and cutting it out, we've already covered that, you should know what you're doing there. Now, ordinarily you would put these on and obviously paint these along with the rest of the helmet, but I want to do something a little bit different. Um, what I've got here, I've got a nice box of scrap pieces of fake leather. Um, that I've used in several of my projects because um, I buy it in a big roll and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut see if I can find some scraps that are just big enough to cover this um, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut them down we're going to use some spray glue on this and then stick this down and then proceed to cut little bits and wrap it round so that this is going to be more of a, a leather texture and then that can be put onto the helmet and look more slightly more realistic um, so we're going to crack on with this and see if I can find some other bits that are going to fit. That might just fit. Might, might need to find a slightly bigger bit for that. But we'll have a look, see what bits we've got and give this a go. So I've sprayed these two pieces with our spray on glue. Um, it's very simple stuff. It's just the stuff that um, people would use to apply your carpet to the floor or lino. Um, comes in handy and we're going to sort these out because obviously once it goes down it starts sticking we stick them down like that should hopefully adhere quite nicely and what we're going to do is we're going to take our scalpel and obviously we're going to remove certain parts of this. So I've done this on a piece of cardboard just to not destroy my mat. And once that's done, removed, we can start folding these bits over. I may not have left enough on that one, but we shall see how we go. I'm going to try and get all that done, and we'll show you what that looks like. Alright, okay, we finally got there, and I managed to get them on reasonably well. Um, it was a little bit trickier than I thought, as with everything, especially when you try and do it on camera. Um, I think I ended up with a bit more glue stuck to my fingers than anything. Um, tried my best, I had a couple of accidents just on there, but that's not too bad. So once the helmet's painted, these will then go onto the side, the ear is designed to fit in there, and I'll sort out an elastic strap to go around the chin which will hold the helmet on. So that's these done, all we've got to do now is get back to the helmet, finish the coating and get it painted. The helmet has been given three coats of the EVA, it was then sprayed down with a plastic primer and was then sprayed with this uh, glue 
and the same blue I used on the shield so it's all going to match up nicely. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand paint the A and the wing sections um, white just on the top surface just so that can be seen um, then we're going to add the ear sections and try and sort of sink out the chin strap. So we're going to paint the white bits and we'll carry on with that. Okay, so I've added a layer of the whites. Um, I'm probably going to add one more but I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. I mean it's touched dry at the moment but the problem with these paints is if it's not completely dry, as you try and put on the second coat, it's just going to lift the next layer up. So I need to let that set a little bit better. Um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to attach the earpieces um, that we made in the lovely leather. So these are going to be attached under here. And then we're going to see what we can sort out for the chin strap that go onto that. So I'm going to get these on. Um, and that's going to start looking more like the helmet then and um, we'll take it from there. There we go, the helmet um, is done. I've done the chin strap, um, I've just done a little bit of moulded foam and covered it in the fake leather the same as I did the side ear pieces. Um, I didn't do the elastic quite tight enough but I wanted it to kind of be comfortable, I might need to make it just a little bit tighter. Um, there we go, it's all painted up, all looks good. Um, if you wish you can add detailing around the sides here um, I know some people have done that on their helmets. Um, it's entirely up to you. I think uh, as this stands, if you're wearing this, people wouldn't go, oh, it doesn't look like a Captain America helmet. It'd be, oh, it looks like a Captain America helmet. So, there we go. That's this tutorial done. Um, if you follow this one on, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, I've also done the, the shield from EVA Foam, so you can check that out. If you're playing on cosplaying Captain America, these are great tutorials to watch um, so you can build your own parts of the costume. Um, if you've built one of these or been inspired to build something, um, you can please contact me. You can contact me on my Facebook page. Um, you can also contact us on our email. I'll put that up on screen for you. Um, but yeah, um, anything else, send us some pictures. If you wear this, if you see me at a convention, um, come and say hi. Um, uh, Collectorama uh, beginning of June and London Film and Comic Con end of July um, but please like please subscribe um, you can check out some of our other tutorials and I look forward to hearing from you soon